The following program contains incessant calls to battle with the unsavory. If you suffer from squeaky clean handedness, Randall might not be right for you. Check with your local Pharisee. Standing for truth in the four corners of America. Fighting for justice on the frontiers of the culture wars. And turning resistance into an art form. The only TV host arrested more times than Mahatma Gandhi, Randall Terry. Hi. Welcome to a special edition of Randall Terry, the voice of resistance. Guess what we have for you today? Comic relief. This entire program, we're going to show you television ads, internet ads from PACs and from candidates that are running right now all over the country. It's time to laugh a little. This whole election cycle's got me crazy. Today's program brought to you in part by CNN. We lie for a living. And by MSNBC. When we grow up, we want to lie half as good as CNN. I'll be right back after a word from Jihad Granny. Hello, Akbar. Welcome, boys and girls. Today... I would like to honor my special friend, Helen Thomas, for attacking those Zionists at the Cairn National Conference, and Mr. Nihad Awad, because you organize it all. Oh, you both are such good listeners of the Prophet Muhammad, and you are both so clever. You both shall receive the reward of a prophet. Welcome back to the program, friend. Some of you might have seen me on MSNBC. Some of you have seen me on CNN in the last couple of days. Man, oh man, we are out there throwing punches. Not just bringing you the news, but making news. But for right now, we just need some comic relief. So, 11 reasons to vote for the Democrats. I give you. I love these members that get up and say, read the bill. What good is reading the bill if it's a thousand pages and, and you don't have uh, two days and two lawyers to find out what it means after you read the bill? But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it away from the fog of the controversy. Yeah, my, my fear is that uh, the whole island will uh, become so overly populated that it will tip over and, uh, and capsize. What part of the Constitution do you think gives Congress the authority to mandate individuals to purchase health insurance? Uh, under several clauses. Uh, the Good and Welfare Clause, uh, and, and a couple others. I believe, myself, that the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, and you have to make your own decision as to what the President knows, that this war is lost. Today is a big day in America. O only 36,000 people lost their jobs today, which is really good. Make the tax code. Why don't you mind your business? No, I'm serious. And let me say this to all of the chattering class that so much focuses on those little tiny Yes, porky amendments. The American people really don't care. You say something nice, is that being smart ass all the time? You got done. Thank you. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you?
inspired me. I am so voting Democrat, like all the way, right down the line. Anyway, Colorado, Amendment 62, pro-life ad. I love it. It's all over the map. I'm not sure what they're really all about, but I love the angel of death thing. Obama, he scares me. Well, I hope our friends in Colorado win. When we come back from this break, tortured children, an old spice commercial, and Christine O'Donnell confesses, I am not a witch. <laughs> no, Randall wasn't at the Battle of the Alamo, and you wouldn't have been either if you were that sick. Moments with Moses. The Lord will send upon you curses, confusion and frustration in all that you undertake to do until you are destroyed and perish quickly. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm supposed to laugh after I see this spot. Okay, here's Christine O'Donnell. I am not a witch. I'm not a witch. I'm nothing you've heard. I'm you. None of us are perfect, but none of us can be happy with what we see all around us. Politicians who think spending, trading favors, and backroom deals are the ways to stay in office. I'll go to Washington and do what you'd do. I'm Christine O'Donnell, and I approve this message. I'm you. All right, I don't know who wrote that. I mean, I like Christine O'Donnell. I really did not like that ad. Did you like it? I am not a witch. I'm you. You're creeping me out, Christine. I don't think you're me. All right, anyway, here's the next one. Better bail faster, Billy. You young boy, you're about to sink. This boat's taking on a lot of water. Ugh, this is impossible. Hit him with the stimulus. Hey, mister, you're gonna sink this boat. Better bail faster, Billy. Out of control spending is sinking our economy and mortgaging our children's future. Help me throw our kids a lifeline. I'm Len Britton, I'm running for the United States Senate, and I approve this message. Well, I'll tell you, I love the idea of burdening my children and my grandchildren with debt so that we can bail out banks and insurance companies and Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare. I'm loving this stuff. All right, to our next ad. There's nothing like an old spice politician. 
Jerry Labriola, ooh, you're the man. Hello, Connecticut. Look at Rosa DeLauro. Now back to me. Now Rosa, back to me. She isn't me, but if she stopped spending all our money and started cutting taxes, she could think like me. Look down, back up. You're in Washington with a man your congressman should be like. What's in your hand? I have it. It's the health control bill you never wanted. Look again. It's cash in your pocket from a payroll tax holiday. Anything is possible when you put me in Congress and not DeLauro. I'm Jerry Labriola and I approve this message. I'm on a sign. Nice job, Jerry. And now, championship wrestling meets Washington, D.C. politics. Are you ready to rumble? I'm Linda McMahon. It's time for something different. So what do you think about Linda McMahon? Well, I like what she's saying. What about the wrestling stuff? <laughs> Not exactly my cup of tea. Oh, it's a soap opera. Really? Look, she tamed the traveling show world of professional wrestling, turned it into a global company, and created 500 jobs here in Connecticut. All right, so? Think she can shake things up in Washington? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. The following ad might be the most frightening ad I've ever seen, and I think I like it. Dale Peterson. I'm Dale Peterson. I've been a farmer, a businessman, a cop, a Marine during Vietnam, so listen up. I made an ad a few weeks ago that told it like it is. It got me from 5% in the polls to 28% of the vote in a three-way race for Alabama Ag Commission. And it knocked Dorman Grace, the bought and paid for our special interest candidate out of first place, clearing that spot for John McMillan. Now, John's a good man. I like John. And he'll do something about Alabama losing three family farms a day. He'll look out for the people of Alabama. I want all my supporters to vote for John McMillan in the runoff July 13th. Then that dummy with all his illegal campaign contributions can head on back to his chicken farm. Hey, you. Hey, get away from that. I'm endorsing John McMillan because he gives a rip about Alabama. And I better not catch any thugs or criminals stealing his yard signs. So vote for the big guy. John McMillan on July 13th. And let's show Alabama we mean business. Don't you wish you had Dale Peterson watching your back? I solemnly swear to never steal another election sign forever. Please don't shoot me, Mr. Dale. I'll be right back with more comedy commercials after this break. The GOP, girly men on Prozac. We've never seen a fight we didn't run from. <laughs> man is called a reactionary if he objects to having his property stolen and his wife and children murdered. Sir Winston Churchill. Welcome back to the program, friend. A special edition of Randall Terry, the voice of resistance. We are running comedy ads, serious ads, just great ads. This one is a retro ad, but I thought that it was worth watching because of, well, Osama bin Laden and the Clinton debacle concerning terrorism. Check it out. In the year 2000, in an effort to stop the North Koreans from building nuclear weapons, President Clinton's Secretary of State Madeleine Albright gave North Korean leader Kim Jong-il a basketball, signed by Michael Jordan. The Democrats' thoughtful gift had two major results. The first was this, and the second was this. In a post-9-11 world, Making nice to our enemies will not make them nice to us. On the contrary, to them, it is a sign of weakness. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my lord. The Democrats have their own ideas on how to stop North Korea from building nuclear weapons. Some people think the terrorists will change their ways if we only show our good intentions. No matter what we do, the fact remains there is evil in the world. History has taught us that evil needs to be confronted, not appeased. Evil dictators will be evil dictators, no matter what we do. Unlike basketball, The security of the United States is not a game. Can we afford a party that treats it like one? 
Another retro ad. Some people say this was the best political ad ever. Must have been a father with a good looking daughter. Check it out. You know those commercials where the daughter talks nice about her dad running for Senate? This isn't one of them. My dad's Mike Bouchard. He's the Oakland County Sheriff. He used to be a state senator where he passed tough anti-crime laws and tax cuts to create jobs. People call him a common sense conservative. Great if you're looking for a senator. Not so great when you're on a date. I'm Mike Bouchard and I approve this message. Isn't this fun? I liked it. I've got good looking daughters. It's very troubling. All right, one more retro ad from 2008, just because it was funny enough, it deserves another look. Chuck Norris endorsing Mike Huckabee. An important policy message from Governor Mike Huckabee. My plan is secure the border. Two words, Chuck Norris. Mike Huckabee's a lifelong hunter who'll protect our Second Amendment rights. There's no chin behind Chuck Norris's beard, only another fist. Mike Huckabee wants to put the IRS out of business. When Chuck Norris does a push-up, he isn't lifting himself up. He's pushing the earth down. Mike's a principled, authentic conservative. Chuck Norris doesn't endorse. He tells America how it's going to be. I'm Mike Huckabee, and I approve this message. So did Chuck. Chuck Norris approved. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed some of these whimsical and comical political ads. Really and truly, America needs a break from some of this stuff. Now we need to take a, a sudden and sharp turn to the serious. On Monday night, two nights ago, CNN, Wolf Blitzer, The Situation Room, literally seen all over the world. If you travel around the world, CNN runs Wolf Blitzer's show literally internationally. I am helping, I'm actually the campaign manager of a good friend of mine, Missy Smith, who's running for office here in Washington, D.C. Her ads have, ga have garnered national and international press. We're going to play them back to back. I want you to know these are not funny, and if you've got small children in the room, you probably want to get them out. But because of FEC and FCC laws, stations are required to show these. And right now, because of this, Missy is saving babies. And Missy is showing the truth about this horrible Holocaust. Here they are from Missy Smith, who by her own definition is a post-abortive woman. We'll play them back to back. I'll see you in one minute. I killed two of my babies by abortion. I was told, it's not a baby. They lied to me. They exploited me. Then I learned the truth, and I've suffered for years. And believe me, I am angry. My heart has been ripped out. Obama, Pelosi, Reed, Norton, they all support the murder of babies and the abuse of women by abortion. It's time to make child killing illegal again. I'm Missy Smith, and I approve this. At 21 days, a baby's heart begins to beat. At six weeks, brain waves are present. At eight weeks, she sucks her thumb. At 12 weeks, all vital organs are present and working. Yet Obama, Pelosi, Reed, and Norton advocate killing these babies at any time, for any reason, by abortion. This is murder. It's time to make child killing illegal again. I'm Missy Smith, and I approve this message. Obviously, there's nothing funny about those ads, but they are historic. And we intend, with the help and the grace of God, to run 10, 15, maybe 20 candidates in 2012 who make child killing the number one issue in American politics, just like slavery was the number one issue in 1850, even if nobody knew it. I'll take a quick break. I'll be right back. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons. They poured out innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood.
Thomas Jefferson said, all tyranny needs to gain a foothold is for people of good conscience to remain silent. Friends, I am tired of the tyranny. We're gonna end the tyranny by our votes, by our political activism, and by raising up our voice, even shrill voice when we need to, for truth.